Hello Malaysia, Hello World. Apa khabar? We are still in the Raya festivity and my team and I wish you Selamat Hari Raya Aidilfitri, Maaf Zahil and Batin. Welcome back to ECM Talk with another interesting topic for today. Is COVID-19 vaccine safe? I'm Rajesh Shahrol, your host. In March last year, at the start of the COVID-19 pandemic, there was a consensus among healthcare providers and public health officials that a vaccine that provided complete immunity to SARCOV2, the virus that causes COVID-19, would effectively end this pandemic. At the time, experts suggested that the development of a safe and effective COVID-19 vaccine could be accomplished in 12 to 18 months, even though vaccine development typically takes about 10 years. Yet, because of the urgency created by this global pandemic and the serious illness and death rates associated with COVID-19, Clinical trials and tests of the efficacy and safety of this vaccine are happening at a rapid, almost frenetic pace. But many remain skeptical and confused. I have here with me, via Zoom video call, Dr. Prasan, a general practitioner at SAGI Clinic of SAGI University in Kota Damansara. Hope he can enlighten us on the topic for our discussion today. Hello, Doc, and welcome to ECM Talk. Apa khabar? Yeah, hi. Good morning. Uh, glad to be here. Thanks for inviting me. Good. All right, Doc. Um, referring to the topic, what is vaccination in brief? And how does vaccines really work to protect our health? So vaccination is actually a simple and safe and effective way of protecting people mm. against harmful diseases before they actually come into contact with them. So how this is done is um, vaccines actually trick your immune system into believing that you are actually having that uh, invasion of this bacteria or virus and therefore you will build antibodies against this uh, particular virus or infection. Uh, therefore, making your immune system stronger mm -hmm. and more resistant to infections. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, that antibody of the individual would differ from one person to another depending on their age. Am I right, Doc? No, relatively, this formation of antibodies uh, isn't quite affected by age. Mm -hmm. It's just that the different age groups have a higher risk of uh, severe infections. Okay. So, for example, the extreme elderly or the extreme young, these mm. people are more prone to severe infections because of their age and, you know, possible um, health, uh, concomitant health conditions. Okay. They have relatively immature immune systems. Therefore, they are very um, susceptible to severe illnesses and, as a result, uh, hospitalization and complications. Now, Doc, should people uh, be scared of vaccines? <clears throat> so generally, vaccines have been used uh, throughout the decades and even in the past century. Uh, it is actually a very safe and effective way to prevent these illnesses and, uh, and essentially save lives. You know? So today, there are many types of vaccines which are available and being used currently such as uh, against diphtheria, tetanus, pertussis, influenza and uh, measles, chickenpox, just to name a few. Okay. Okay, so not many of these, um, a lot of these vaccines are being used in the past decade or so and so far there has not been any severe side effects or complications to using these vaccines. Okay. So what are the key things that we need to know about COVID-19 vaccines? So in terms of vaccines, currently Malaysia has a few uh, vaccines 
that are being used and also with the possibility of uh, future other vaccines coming in in the future. Mm -hmm. So currently we have the Pfizer BioNTech. Uh, AstraZeneca has been introduced in a special uh, scheme by itself yep. apart from the um, National uh, Vaccination Initiative. Okay. And also we have the Sinovac uh, vaccine in play. Mm -hmm. yeah. So in terms of uh, the type of vaccine, the Pfizer vaccine is a mRNA vaccine which is something very new in the uh, medical field. Uh, purportedly, it is uh, supposed to provide us with 95% uh, efficacy. Um, then we have the AstraZeneca vaccine, mm -hmm. which is uh, conveyed by a viral vector. So this one provides us with about 62 to 92% of uh, efficacy. Mm -hmm. And finally, we have the Sinovac vaccine which is uh, also offering about 60 to 92% uh, efficacy. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the common side effects of uh, COVID-19 vaccine or any, vaccination, uh, any vaccines in general which are injected is actually uh, pain at the injection site and okay. swelling and redness. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes we get a bit of uh, rashes, itchiness, uh, as a result of this vaccine, it's kind of a mild allergic reaction. Mm -hmm. And um, more generalized um, uh, side effects would include muscle pain, sometimes nausea, diarrhea, joint mm -hmm. pain, cough, mm -hmm. and a bit of chills. Mm -hmm. some, some patients even experience loss of appetite mm -hmm. and um, running nose, sore throat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just to name a few. Okay, there's no uh, grave concern with regards to the side effects, uh, Doc? I mean, there's nothing to worry about, is there? No, these side effects are pretty much the same for all kinds of vaccines. Okay. And uh, it isn't something that uh, would really jeopardize your health or your safety. So no one should, no one should just panic over it, isn't it? In case, you know, the, the people tend to have this 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 uh, uh, dilemma to feel about the feeling of uh, the after effect you know either it is for real or it's been created or it's all in the mind and so at the end of the day it's just all in the mind can you safely say that uh, doc i wouldn't say it's all in the mind mm. uh, you see like side effects like this uh, feeling of lethargy fever you're right these can actually happen because of the um, these vaccines creating the immune response. All right. Um, but severe side effects which can result in death, uh, these are not so uh, common. And it's, it's not to say it's not common; it's extremely rare. Mm. Doc, perhaps you can share with us some tips on how to talk with someone who's hesitant about going for the COVID-19 vaccine. So I don't think people need to be afraid of vaccines because um, we have been taking vaccines all of our lives, uh, at least in the early years. Yeah. And uh, even our children have been taking vaccines thus far. And so far, you know, the, you've rarely uh, witnessed any um, worrying or dangerous side effects as a result of taking these vaccines, okay? Besides that, vaccines have been proven to prevent and to um, reduce mortality and uh, hospital stays as a result of that particular illness. So, with, um, let us just go back a little bit in history to the time when, uh, in 1918, when the Spanish flu uh, pandemic began. So it was estimated that around one, uh, around three million of the world's population died because of Spanish flu, which Correct. was actually influenza A, H1N1. Okay. Which is a very common illness, even till today. Okay. And as a result of uh, one is um, humans building up their immune system and uh, being vaccinated against this influenza vaccine that mm. we've seen it become less of a problem compared to the times uh, when it first appeared. Okay. 
So apart from that, um, you know, it is uh, very important that we highlight the fact that as of May 16th, um, so far there has been 162 million confirmed cases of COVID-19 and about 3.36 million deaths so far. Okay. So medical and healthcare facilities around the world are already at their maximum capacity and they, this continuous rise in numbers cannot go on or else we would definitely reach a breaking point. Right, right. So apart from that, I would like to highlight that as of 11th May so far, there has been 1.2 billion, billion doses of vaccines administered uh, throughout the world mm. and despite these extremely large numbers of vaccines being given so far we have not encountered a significant uh, amount of side effects or any cause of concern towards this uh, vaccination program okay then uh, dr prasad thank you very much for your time and uh, sharing of information to us Interesting sharing and it give us a better understanding of our topic discussed today. Nevertheless, this vaccine announcement has brought together leading and prominent pharmaceutical companies around the world to publicly pledge to make the safety and well-being of vaccinated individuals their top priority. While stating that, they have received approval of a vaccine under various phases that establish it is both safe and effective. Happy and safe vaccination for those who have registered. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Edu Channel Malaysia. Until we meet again in our next program, take care and stay healthy everyone. Jumpa lagi!